So we had written till the init function and if you've reached this far and you have squiggly lines below your string definitions then you need to check this package strings. It needs to be plural strings. Uh, sometime back I had written just string and not strings. Once you write strings then the squiggly line below uh, the string definition should go away. And now we have uh, squiggly lines below all these packages which we have not used so these will go away slowly once we start using these packages. And we also have a squiggly line here. Uh, below check error which is a function that we have not defined which Golang is expecting from us. So the check error function is supposed to check for errors and it will take ERR of type error as parameter and if ERR is not equal to nil which means the error exists there is an error uh, we, all we are going to do is we are just going to log it out and this is where we will use the log package log.fatal and once we use the log package, the log uh, squiggly line goes away, right? So, so far, so good. Okay. And now uh, comes the main part where we'll have to start defining our um, main function. So, func main is the entry point in all Golang programs. And this is uh, the most important function. So, in the, inside our func main, main we'll create a router I'm going to use the CHI package which I've installed or imported right and I'll create a new router with CHI and I'll say r.use middleware.logger so I need to use a logger a middleware so middleware also is with uh, the CHI uh, package and uh, by the way this use the u is capital so just make sure you don't make that mistake here also with get the G is capital now so I uh, if you remember from my diagram I'd shown you four different routes right there was uh, slash and there was slash ID uh, but those those routes were after I write to do like slash to do and then slash right but here this is just a slash in, in the sense if I just write localhost 9000 and then I just put a slash without writing to do as in these are not to do specific routes then here I just want like something uh, called a home handler here. But then all the routes that start after I write to do, I want them to go to a function called to do handlers. Right. So there will be two functions. One will be a home handler and then we have to do handlers. Okay, and now Golang is telling me that I don't have these two defined, which is not a problem, which because we're going to define them. So let's start writing the to do handler. So you have to come outside func main and you have to create another function called to do handlers. So again, here we're using the HTTP package, and here we'll have to create a new router called RG it will be a group router so I'll say RG dot group so it's going to handle basically all the fun all the routes that will start with uh, to do so I'll say chi dot router and in here I'll say R dot get so after to do if somebody puts just a slash which I had shown you in the diagram I want the list of all to do's to come there so I'm going to have a function called fetch to do's and r dot post the route will be the same which will be just a slash after to do and here I'll have a create to do function then I'll have my r dot put for my update for update as you know I also need an id so it will be update to do and I need a delete with delete again I need an ID so it will be delete to do and at the end we just want to return RG so our to do handlers is ready but again I have all these squiggly lines telling me that I need these functions to be there uh, so now but now let's go back back inside the func main and we had reached here now let's create our server so we'll have srv is equal to ampersand http dot server where 
SS capital and this uh, helps us to define the server. The address will be port which I've defined as a constant before. The handler will be in this case R that I've already defined above here R right and then you have your read timeouts and write timeouts so it will be 60 into time dot second where s is capital and i'll have my write timeout these are read and write timeouts to the databases to the database time dot second and then i have my idle timeout for the server so again 60 multiplied by time dot second so again, we're using the time uh, package here from above out here. So that's why the squiggly line below time has gone away, right? That's how we're getting access to a second. And now we'll define a channel called gofunk, which will help us start our server. So I'll have a channel called gofunk function log dot print ln and I'll have listening on port comma port which is basically uh, the constant which is 9000 in this case now let's catch the error listen so listen and serve function is the most important function here because this is inside the HTTP um, package and this helps us to create the server if we have an error then I want to print out the error Yes, a new line and the error itself will be printed out here and here I need to have two brackets right so even if I have defined check error you can see there's still squeak, squeak lines because the spelling of check error is wrong so now I've corrected it and the, the line has gone away right so we have our uh, main function coming along we have our to do handlers function check error is done already and now let's continue this in the next video